Today, I'm gonna be attempting to beat the world record for recreating Soulja Boy's famous hit song, Crank That. The current world record is 37.39 seconds, and it's set by one of the biggest YouTubers in the game and one of my dear friends, Simon Servita. Actually, he has no idea who I am and we've never met, but he will one day. Now, to keep things fair, I'm gonna use the exact set of rules that he used in his video. The first rule is that I have to recreate the first 45 seconds of the song. And the second is that I can't use any loops to do it. I have to sequence everything myself from scratch. All right, the first thing I've gotta to do to break the world record is to come up with a game plan. There are three main parts of this that I've got to accomplish. Putting up the sounds, sequencing the drums, and arranging everything. Need that, need that, definitely need that. Yup, 808. Oh yeah, give me that snap. First attempt, about to break the world record. Damn, I got a long way to go. It's literally almost one o'clock right now. I've been staying up so long trying to figure this out, but still not hitting that um, 37 second mark. And so I'm just gonna sleep on it and come back to it tomorrow and see what we can do. So I spent all morning coming up with ways that I think are really gonna help improve my time. Here are a couple of them. The first major thing I decided to do was to use Ableton Live instead of FL Studio. I'm way more comfortable with Ableton and I know I'm gonna be a lot faster in it. Second, I decided to take one from Simon's Playbook and combine all the sounds into a crank that folder. The third thing is that I decided to set up the steel drum MIDI so I would be able to pencil them in really quickly and not have to focus on all of the other notes. After that, I spent a lot of time analyzing the arrangement that Simon was using for his video. I knew to beat his time, I would have to think outside of the box and come up with a creative way for me to go faster. After all of these adjustments, I was able to get my time pretty consistently to 40 seconds. One thing that was really jamming me up was having to highlight everything and then hit Command D to duplicate. So I decided to create a shortcut for this. And so when I would press Command Shift A, this made this process way faster and gave me the confidence that I was ready to take on the world record. Okay, oh, 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 let's go. After a couple more tries with my new strategies at 4.25 p.m. May 6, 2022, I finally beat the world record for the fastest time of recreating Soldier Boy's Crank Dad. Oh, 33! Let's go! Alright, we gotta test it just to make sure it sounds right. Hey. Now, all competition aside, I wanted to thank Simon for inspiring this video. I actually had a lot of fun doing it. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Make sure to let me know what videos I should do next. But yeah, regardless of anything, y'all keep vibing, and I'll see y'all next time. Love you.